What I want is for you to tell me the truth. here? Where is she? I have to tell her. Tell her what? The truth, Eric. It's, it's time you all knew the truth. Come on. I don't understand. She was sitting right there. We have to find her. She's hurting, and it's all my fault. She probably went home. Right. Let's go. You need to hear this, too. Rachel's not here. She said she'll be out for the rest of the night. Okay. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Where could she be? I don't know. Well, the reason I was looking for you, uh, I talked with the other archaeologists. I got that watch you were looking for and one of the bracelets. Well, that makes two of them. We still need one more. Mr. Cassington said he saw one of the bracelets in the Temple of the Stellations, but he left it there. Thanks, Eric. I'm going to go back to the studio, get some work done. You see, Rachel, please let her know I need to talk to her. I will. Try to get some rest. Things will look better in the morning. Get this to work. This primitive equipment is driving me crazy. Primitive? These computers are state of the art. There's nothing better. Well, not yet, but there will be. What are you doing here? Well, I came looking for you and you weren't here, and I think I must have fallen asleep in the lounge. Well, I'm glad you're here. There's something I need to tell you. What is it? The truth. Go ahead, Ed Mulhafama. Mr. President, at 0900 this morning, Lieutenant Leonard of the Department of Time Management detected a level 5 time distortion. Level 5? Yes, sir. And no, it does not seem to be related to last week's time travel incident. We believe that somebody from the future stole the time machine, went back in time, and deliberately and drastically altered events. Can you fix it? Mr. President, theoretically we should be able to find the exact point in the timeline where time was altered. With that information, we can go back and prevent it from happening. Lieutenant, that sounds like a plan. There's one catch, Mr. President. We don't have the time machine. It was lost in the accident. I'm certain we can find the exact spot where the timeline was damaged, but we can't go back and fix it. Is that it, then? God help us all. God, Mr. President? It's just a figure of speech, Admiral. We're all doomed. Not necessarily, Mr. President. Our only hope is for Captain Castleton to find and fix the time machine. Well, what are the chances of that happening? Actually, the odds are pretty good. You see, the time machine could not have been stolen in the future if it never made it back. It's not necessarily a matter of if the time machine will be returned, but when it will be returned. 
Okay, now you're giving me a headache. Messing with time can do that. I'm not exactly who I claim to be. You're not an archaeologist? Oh no, I am an archaeologist. It's just that I'm Change. Not now, Eric. It's really not a good time. I was just about to. We gotta go now. The Stalin government just said they're gonna close the Temple of Stellations permanently tomorrow morning. If you don't get over there now, you won't be able to get your bracelet. Oh Rachel, I'm so sorry. I really have It's okay, go. You can finish telling me when you get back. I'll be waiting for you. Do we have a flight plan? Do we even have a pilot? The ship's already waiting for us. It's on the launch pad. We're going to go. You, sir, are awesome. I know. Let's go. I'll be back as soon as I can. There's so much I need to tell you. James, we have to go. Now. I really... Just go. I'll be here when you get back. Okay. Okay. According to Mr. Cassington, the bracelet is in the throne room. Okay, well it looks like the uh, quickest way would be to enter through the south gate and cross through over to the main temple. Well, the government has closed off all the entrances except for the north gate. So you're saying we have to enter at the gate farthest from where we need to be? I'm afraid so. We have to be careful what we say and what we do. The Stalin government has become increasingly sensitive and is easy to anger. Okay, then. We grab the bracelet and we go. There's no exploring, no cameras. Actually, we have to film it. The only reason they're letting us on there is because they want to be on your show. Great. Attention crew, we have arrived at Planet Stallion and are clear to land just outside the northern gate of the temple. I have been informed that Kring Kissoff will be meeting you in person at the Northern Gate. This is going to take longer than I planned. I'm afraid so. Happy that you're here. I watch your show all the time. I would really appreciate it if I could be in one of your fillings. As you wish, Your Majesty. Perhaps you could give the viewers some of the history of the site. Let me introduce you to my cameraman. This is uh, my good friend Eric Spindle. I am honored to meet you, sir. Shall we begin? Eric, is the camera ready? Ready to go, boss. You're on in five, four, three, and action. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of Intergalactic Archaeology. Today we are on the planet of the Stallions, and we are going to explore the Temple of the Stalliations. I have a special guest with us today. Please welcome the ruler of the Stallions, King Kresolf, who will give us some of the background history on this site. Thanks, man. So, King Kresolf, tell us about the Temple of the Stalliations. How old is it? When and why was it built? The Temple of Stallions is one of the largest... Are you telling me, Lieutenant, that there's nothing we can do but wait for some guy who's stuck in the past to fix this machine and bring it back? First of all, Mr. President, James is far more than just some guy. He's a brilliant archaeologist and an expert engineer. He helped design the time machine in the first place. Anybody can fix it, it's him. Second of all, yes. I'm afraid everything depends on the time machine being returned. However, we do need to be preparing for its return. We need to get a team to work right away. To work on what? To find the exact spot in the timeline where the distortion occurred. Then, when we do have our time machine, we'll be ready. Very well. Admiral, work with Lieutenant Leonard to put together a team of our best time experts. The fate of every being in the universe rests on your shoulders. Maybe now would be a good time to start believing in God. Couldn't hurt. Mm -hmm. 